when it comes to contribution, if you like, my goodness, who could argue uh, at the incredible contribution that Gareth Bale made to football? And yesterday, Wales most capped player and record goal scorer with 41 goals in 111 appearances for his country. Of course, what a player he was. Twice named footballer of the year at Tottenham. Uh, then moved to Real Madrid for what was a then world record fee of more than £80 million in uh, September 2013. I remember that. I was there the night he flew out to uh, Madrid from Luton Airport. Um, his contribution has been incredible. What he has won is equally incredible. Uh, three league titles and five Champions League titles, along with three Club World Cups in Madrid, three UEFA Super Cups and a Spanish Cup as well. What a career he had. And yesterday, he called time on that career as a player. His longtime agent, Jonathan Barnett, spoke uh, to Talk Sport about Bale's decision to retire and the legacy he leaves. I think he realised his body is not what it was and he didn't want to put himself through it anymore. I think when, you're, when you reach a level that he's at, I think it's very important that you bow out at the right time. Let people have good memories of you. He, he doesn't need to do anything else. He's proved everything. He's got a list of achievements that are quite amazing. And I think he is the best player that Britain's ever produced. And I just think... Uh, it was right for him. Why carry on? He couldn't have produced that level anymore. I think we have a problem in Britain. We don't like to build people up. We only like, like to knock them down. So he got up to a certain point and then everybody criticised him. If you look at, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo, nobody in Portugal really, really not ever said bad things about him. Not that there is anything, but they always. But in Britain, that's the thing that we have to live with. I know Jonathan Barnett will probably be listening this morning. Mm. Is it true? We, we, we don't like to build them up. Yeah, we like to knock them down. He's right in that respect. And I regularly say that, that there is a propensity in this country to whittle people down. But they didn't do it here. They did it in Spain. So what's his point there? Well, you've done it here. Yeah, I don't think... You're that, one of the knockers. No, I, I think Gareth Bale is a remarkable talent. Do I think he fulfilled all his talent? No, do I think that, that, that Gareth Bale had another 20% to give? Do I think it's a, tra it's, a, it's a tragedy that there's an element of half-empty glass about Gareth Bale in people's minds when it should never have been that way? Because if you look at his body of work, you know, I watched him almost... I think he made his debut against Palace, and we were, we were told at the time this kid was coming through, and he hit a free kick from 30 yards, took a goalkeeper in the back of the net. And, you know, and you saw the development of him. You saw him go to Spurs. He was the biggest transfer fee out of Spurs to Real Madrid. You know, he's been an absolute revelation for Wales, carried him on his shoulders through tournaments and into tournaments, and he's won European Cups for, or Champions League for Real Madrid. So why is this a negative connotation? It doesn't emanate in this country. Jonathan Barnett's point is right about the propensity in this country to knock people down, build them up. But they didn't do it. They did it in Spain. In Spain, they were uncomfortable with him. There was allegations repeatedly and endlessly that his little mate Hal robson Carno came in here and suggested that well, everyone was wrong in thinking, that he was well-received, that people did like him. He did immerse himself in the culture over in Spain. Yet when we were over there, we sat with people like Phil Kitchell and Melidis, who spoke on behalf of Real Madrid and their pers perspective, and there was this feeling from the Madrilianos in Madrid that there wasn't his embracing of it. He did stand in front of flags and say, Wales first. Golf second and Real Madrid third. And I know that's probably a cocky and a schnook at some of the journos that wrote articles about him. But I do feel that Gareth Bell at 33 years of age is a sad that he's gone. Physically, probably inevitable because of the way that he was built and Messi and Ronaldo are built differently. But did you not go further than that? When he went back to Tottenham, did you say that he should be investigated by trading standards? Yeah, because he was rubbish. When he got back here. Well, that was a bit much, wasn't and, it? And also, he shouldn't have been allowed... He's one to, of the best ever. But but you've got to call it as it... Well, OK, you're as good as what you do next. You can't spend your entire life looking back at what someone's done. You've got to judge them in the here and now. If they're playing in the here and now and they've come over... I didn't say, all oh, the body of work he did at Real Madrid was rubbish. I didn't say the body of work that he's done full stop. I looked at that moment in time and said, if that's a player at the top of his game playing for a Premier League side, then he should be investigated by the trading standards because he's not doing his job. Now, they'll say, well, look at the goal record and look at the goals he scored against who he scored them against, right? Gareth Bale was a disappointment in that transfer move to Tottenham. And I said at the beginning, well, it's all, it's all puff and stuff. It's all flash for cash. I'm not sure he'll add much value to Tottenham. And so he didn't. But look at his body of work. He's a remarkable player. Mm. Remarkable player. Mm. Mm. I, you know, I do think that there was an element of he was allowed to drift into a World Cup. Knowing how important he was, I do think there was a deep-seated unprofessionalism about allowing him to play in non-competitive football in America, building up to a World Cup where he was the only output deal for Wells. The only way Wells could have done anything is if Gareth Bell was fit 
And he wasn't. And he wasn't, and he didn't. And Jonathan Barnett is absolutely right. Is he Le right that he's the best player no. ever to have come out of the UK? No, I don't think so. I think you, you can make a case for many people to have been one of, to have been remarkable talents. You know, his is a career of longevity, fraught over the last five or six years with controversy about his relationship with Real Madrid. George Best, to me, is the best player that's ever graced a football pitch. Um, but again, George Best's career was very short and had very publicised problems. Paul Gascoigne, the same. We can talk about a lot of very talented players, but he's right up there. I mean, he's list, right up there. His list of honours, Simon, probably puts him yeah, way ahead of anybody else. Because he is played for Real Madrid. Because he yeah, played, but not for Real Madrid. played for Real Madrid. I mean, three league titles, five Champions League, five Champions League. Yeah, but he played. I for, mean, he played for Real Madrid. So there's a propensity for Real Madrid to win La Liga, right? There's a propensity for them to feature in the European Cups. And, of course, it's unarguable that his contributions to certain European Cups were possibly the reason why they won finals. But you've got to win about 13 other games before, or 12 other games before you get to a final. I think Gareth Bell is a remarkable player. I think he's achieved, achieved remarkable things. I think it's a, it's a sadness about the fact that people have a half-empty glass mentality towards him on his career. I, I do think he's a part contributor to that. But but the bottom, if you look at it in isolation and put aside personal views and just look at the body of work, it's a remarkable set of achievements. And of course, Jonathan Bennett will hark him. No one's ever got him as much commission probably uh, from any other industry or any other player than Gareth Bell. And I do think Jonathan is right. He has now reached the end of the road. Leave people wanting more rather than less. And you are at the tipping point now. If Gareth Bell hung around playing MLS or turning up in Dubai yeah. to play football for big bags of money that he's already got, people would start to say... Well, we want less of him. And there was that. We know that he was a huge disappointment in the World Cup, not because he because he wanted to be, but because he wasn't fit. So do you respect him more now for calling time in his career at 33? Well, it depends what you think respect entails. Do I respect his career? I don't know him personally, so I can't tell you if I respect his values in life. Uh, he's, well, he's, I can he's, tell he's you. He's a very he's quiet, a unassuming lad. I've met him on a number of occasions. Very quiet. But fine. You know, I don't think he's been... I don't think he's been wise in allowing things like the flag situation to be part of the, of the shtick that people can hit him with, because it's silly to have done that. That's just giving people an opportunity to, 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 to take a swipe at you. Do I respect him for his football career? Yeah. Do I think he wrung every last pip out of the a talent that he had? No, I don't. Do I think he could have done more? And Jonathan Barnett and his defence will say, well, what more could he have bloody done? Oh, at Real Madrid, his, what more could he have done? Dragged it, well... Why are you? What, he couldn't have done any more than they did at Real Madrid. What he did was incredible. What, what he did at Real Madrid was, for some reason, and Jonathan Barnett's analysis, and so far as Jonathan Barnett is particularly important about the whittling down of his uh, of him as an individual in this country, but it didn't happen in this country. You're just annoyed that Barnett made a force now of him. I couldn't care less if Jonathan Barnett made. Yes, you are. I, I really couldn't. Jonathan Barnett is a football agent, and the football agents have a place, unfortunately, in football, and people have to be grown up about it. But the bottom line is, is that. You know, the whittling down of Gareth Bell really wasn't done in this country. It picked up on what was happening in Spain. And the dismantling and the dissemination of the information about what was happening in Spain was via Spanish media. People in this country waxed lyrical about his remarkable achievements of dra dra dragging a second-rate nation into World Cups. So by the sounds of it, not that you're going to spend much time over it, how will you remember Gareth Bale, the player? Um, I think... Um, that he was a remarkable player um, at certain times in his career. I think he did remarkable things playing for Real Madrid. I think it's sad that he has some negative stigma attached to him. Um, I remember him in... I, I'm sorry people won't like to hear this. I remember him most recently, in my most recent memories, and we're all guilty of this, your recent memories will be the ones that are most prevalent at times, because I didn't sit there watching Gareth Bell's career dawn till dusk. I watched him at Tottenham, and I thought, oh, great, well done you, what did you do? I watched him in the World Cup thinking, well, crying out loud, what a waste of time you were there. But, I also, but I also remember him for scoring absolutely phenomenal that's goals what, against Liverpool. And that's what you should be remembering him for, surely. Well, you can remember... Taxi for Mycon, that great run could, against yeah, him Absolutely, line. absolutely. It, it, I mean, when he, did, when he torched that player that I, night, I remember the old White for, Hart for, Lane. For, 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 for the overhead kick for in the Champions League final haircut. against Liverpool. And you remember him? For having a ridiculous haircut. Oh, well, you can talk. That's true. I knew there was. I knew I was on infertile ground there. And Wales, a second-rate nation. You had to get that in. Another well, yeah. I mean, I could have said. I could have said third-rate like Scotland, but I didn't. I said second-rate. Oh, right. I upgraded them. Love it. Uh, Gareth Bale, Jonathan Barnett. You probably heard them there. Bale's long-term, uh, long-time uh, representative says Bale's uh, the best <laughs> player ever to come out these shores. Would you agree? If not, who is eight ten eighty nine? 
Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.